Right, guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I mean over the top beautiful spring day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization on this lovely Friday. Is it May 14th or 15th? Somewhere around there, 2021, and I have been out, little dog and I have been out in the cornfield, getting the cornfield ready at Bugs in a Jar Farm, and it is now, good Lord, going on 7 o'clock at night. Got my tangerine margarita for the collapse. And it's finally time to do what I do, uh, every Friday, and that's it. We're going to head over to mongabay.com, check in with Rhett Butler and the boys and girls for my weekly ecological meltdown roundup rant. So let uh, Rhett Butler tell us what's been going on while I, you know, have been cutting down all of my trees here at... Uh, Bugs in a Jar Farm, starting out with a question, I love it, is planting trees as good for the earth as everyone says? The short answer is no, planting trees is not, uh, but we're going to come back to that question in a minute, uh, all of this stuff about planting trees, anyway, Wow, we're going to start out here in Honduras at the Rio Platano Biosphere Reserve, an illegal road for cattle and drugs. Yes, multiple sources say an illegal road is being cut through the Rio Platano Biosphere Reserve in Honduras, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Sources say the new road will facilitate land invasions into the biosphere and is likely to be used as a drug trafficking route. Yes. Um, despite knowing about the road for more than a year, the Honduran government has not taken definitive action to enforce the law. Wasn't the president of Honduras just busted for being one of the biggest cocaine dealers uh, on the planet, or is that just some American uh, empire propaganda? Who knows? My guess is there is a very good reason the Honduran government is looking the other way while the narco traficantes bulldoze a road across a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Okay, we're now going to get a reality check about sustainable palm oil in the Amazon rainforest. Brazil's official policy states that Amazon palm oil is green. But is that true? An 18-month investigation showed the opposite. What is the opposite of green? Orange? Uh, the Manga Bay investigation will be used by federal prosecutors as evidence. Uh, I'm sure. Let's see. Uh, this is over contaminating water. They are, among other things, in the investigation, contaminating water supplies poisoning the soil, harming the livelihoods and, and health of indigenous and traditional peoples. Yes. This is how the palm oil industry is changing the Amazonian landscape. Do you think so? Okay, here is uh, more stories on is planting trees as good a way to save the planet as any. Bad science, planting frenzy, meaning tree planting frenzy, misses the grasslands for the trees. 
planting trees by the millions has come to be considered one of the main ways of reining in runaway carbon emissions and tackling climate, climate change. But experts say many of these tree planting campaigns are based on flawed science. Planting in grasslands and other non-forest areas, you know, where there should never be any trees, and prioritizing invasive trees over native ones. Experts point out that not all land is meant to be forested. Yes and that planting trees in savannas and grasslands runs the risk of actually reducing carbon sequestration. The rush to reforest has also led to fast-growing eucalyptus and acacia trees becoming the choice of tree for planting despite the fact they're not native in most planting areas and are both water intensive and fire prone. You see this all over the, uh, the Andes in uh, Peru and Ecuador. I was pointing this out in my book in 2009, how they were reforesting with these Australian eucalyptus trees just taking over the eastern slope of the Andes which used to be one of the most biodiverse uh, areas on the planet and has now become one big eucalyptus plantation. All right. Uh, <clears throat> guys, there is a lot on here. <coughs> and uh, I can only hit a few of these. So what is humanity's challenge of the century? If your answer is conserving Earth's fresh water systems, give yourself a gold star. Many dryland cities like Los Angeles, Cairo, and Tehran have already outstripped their natural water recharge, but are expected to continue growing, resulting in a deepening and urban water crisis. Um, according to NASA, 19 key freshwater bas basins, including several here in the U.S., are being unsustainably depleted, with some near collapse. Much of the water is used indiscriminately by industrial agribusiness. Many desert cities, including Tripoli, Phoenix and Los Angeles are sustained by water brought in from other basins by hydro mega projects that are aging and susceptible to collapse. While the desalination plants that water Persian Gulf cities come at a high economic cost with serious salt pollution. Yes, there we go. We are heading into a global fresh water crisis. I must say, guys, there is absolutely no fresh water crisis at Bugs in a Jar Farm. The last thing I'm going to die of here is thirst. Good Lord, I've got creeks, I've got ponds, I've got springs bubbling out of the ground. This house is more of a boat than it is a house. You dig down about 20 inches and you will hit a pool of water under my shack. All right, what is the featured video? So you know how Manga Bay has its own YouTube channel and their video this week is behind the scenes of Brazilian palm oil. So if you want to get some graphic pictures of what palm oil is now doing to the Brazilian Amazon, check out Manga Bay's YouTube channel. Um, what's going on with mangroves in Indonesia? Mining 
aquaculture and plantations and other commercial activities have taken a toll on mangroves in Indonesia, home to the world's largest extent of these important ecosystems. And there you go. Uh, anyway, we need to... I'm going to... Uh, Let's see, uh, do we skip over the hopium this week? I don't have any time for it. We're just, we're just going to skip over uh, the hopium. Yeah, such as ever-evolving Montreal Protocol is a model for environmental treaties. Oh, God. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I'm not sure what the Bunge Corporation is, but 98% of Bunge shareholders back proposal to reduce deforestation. Yes. Um, <laughs> Bunge's decision to reduce deforestation follows those greenwashing, unenforceable piles of crap recently made by other big companies such as Procter & Gamble. I think Procter & Gamble is one of the biggest users of palm oil. A lot of people don't realize that palm oil is a major ingredient in, in stuff like soap and shampoo, and probably toothpaste. It's not just in cookies and candy bars. It's a huge part. Uh, my, my guess is Procter & Gamble, you, I, I, there's no telling. And don't forget those Save the Planet corporations, Archer Daniels Midland Company, and of course, those tree huggers over there at J.P. Morgan Chase. Mm -hmm. You go J.P. Morgan Chase and save the planet. I did not realize that seals also have mass strandings. I thought that was like pilot whales. This is bad for seals too. Latest mass stranding raises concern for endangered Caspian seals, about 170 endangered Caspian seals were found dead on uh, Russia's coast with fishing activities most likely to blame. Yes. People harvest Caspian seals for their skin and even their blubber which is made into an oil and is being promoted as a cure for corona panic. Yes. Uh, experts say more than 15,000 Caspian seals are, seals are killed every year through fishing activities and then filtered into the wildlife trade. And there are approximately 68,000 Caspian seals left on the planet, 15,000 going into oblivion per year. I think my math means four and a half years. You can kiss goodbye the Caspian seal. I love this one. E even occasionally, Rhett Butler. Uh, Rhett Butler, he doesn't have a real developed sense of humor but even Rhett Butler is blowing the whistle on this corporate greenwashing BS coming out of uh, Indonesia. Indonesia says no new coal plants starting in 2023, parentheses, asterisk, after the next 100 years. Yes, 
Indonesia plans to stop building new coal-fired power coal-fired power plants after 2023 with additional electrical capacity to be generated only from new and renewable sources. Yes. Um, once these plants are built, they will operate for decades to, to come and their emissions will spell disaster for climate change. There is also controversy over what the Indonesian government considers, quote, new and renewable energy in which it lumps solar and wind alongside biomass, nuclear, and of course gasified coal as renewable energy to replace coal. There you go. Um, more stories on sharks and rays disappearing as bycatch. Uh, you know, guys, this is manga based spin. This bullshit has been all over the uh, mainstream media this week. I have somehow managed to keep my mouth shut because I was kind of interested to see how manga Bay was going to play this story, whether they were going to hit the BS button or not. Let's see how manga Bay is going to play the story. A Madagascar-sized area of forest has regrown since 2000. Most of the mainstream media is saying a France-sized, otherwise known as 59 million hectares. That's about 150 million acres has regrown around the world since 2000. Uh, the analysis estimates that the 22 to 25 billion trees which have regrown over the past two decades could sequester 5.9 billion tons of CO2 more than the annual emissions of the U.S. However, which the mainstream media uh, never pointed this out, and so at least Red is pointing this out, However, forest recovery is far outpaced by deforestation. Primary forest loss, you know, the old growth important stuff between 2000 and 2020 amounted to nearly 65 million hectares, whereas tree cover loss reached 411 million hectares between 2000 and 2020, according to data from Global Forest Watch. And what I honestly don't know here is how much of this reforestation that is supposedly saving the planet, how, I mean, do they count oil palm trees? Do they count those eucalyptus and acacia trees we were talking about? Uh, you know, I, I mean, I, I, I don't trust this as far as I can throw it. Uh, I smell a rat here. Uh, th th this is one more bit of, uh, you know, greenwashing hopium crap. Um... All right, what are Indonesian fishermen up to? F fishermen in J Java are calling for permits to resume using seine nets after the government last year lifted a, lifted a ban on the destructive uh, devices. Uh, I love this one. Uh, how do you like this irony? President Joko Widodo, the greatest name of a planet eater on the planet, Joko Widodo promised, uh, in, in addition to granting their permits, to dredge the port after the fishermen complained of not being able to dock their boats 
during the low tide because of heavy silting, you know, coming from all the deforestation, washing down the rivers. Uh, so uh, instead of stopping these siltation, just dredge the harbor. Oh God, here we go now. Get ready for the hantavirus. I'm not even. I'm not even going to go there. We're not even going to talk about the hantavirus getting ready to uh, kill everybody on the planet. Moving on. Will you believe that industrial diets are imprinting on human bodies? A new analysis shows that eating mass-produced food grown with the help of synthetic fertilizers sourced internationally is changing the chemistry of modern humans. Yes. Um, anyway. Um, present day, because of their diets, uh, present day humans are more similar to each other, but very different from our ancestors who lived before the advent of industrial agriculture. Do you think so? Uh, okay. All right. The Asian Development Bank plans to exit financing coal, oil, and natural gas exploration and extraction activities. We shall see. Um, while green groups have welcomed the transition, they note that the draft energy policy has a loophole by allowing fossil gas investments. Yes, all right. The climate crisis solution we need are already here. It is called uh, sterilizing the planet. Yes, all that is needed, all that is needed is a profound shift in political will and a framework of environmental justice. Yes. Uh, those who wring their hands and say it cannot be done so swiftly that we need bridging measures like nuclear power or extensive artificial carbon capture and storage underestimate the incredible ability and ingenuity of humanity. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, all right, what are the Germans up to? How about uh, raiding Myanmar teak lands? I'm surprised there's any teak still left in Myanmar, or however you pronounce that country. They got hit with a four million dollar fine. I'm sure that is going to stop teak logging in Myanmar. Oh, good lord. Uh, we have a new amnesty in Indonesia uh, that grants amnesty to oil palm plantations operating illegally inside forest areas. The amnesty scheme gives the operators a grace period of three years to apply for the proper paperwork, including a redesignation of the forest they are illegally occupying to a non-forest designation. Uh, anyway, good lord, guys. Uh, but what's going on in Sri Lanka? Sri Lanka to ban palm oil imports and to raise R-A-Z-E 
raised plantations over environmental concerns. Yes. Okay. Sri Lanka has imposed a ban on palm oil products and ordered oil palm plantations in the country to be replaced with rubber trees and other crops over the next decade. Yes. Out with the palm oil, in with the rubber trees. Oh boy. So, uh, the thing about the rubber trees, apparently, uh, in Sri Lanka, oil palm is not a driver of deforestation of natural forests because the oil palm trees were just planted over rubber plantations and now the rubber plantations that destroy the forest are getting rid of the palm oil plantations. Yes. <clears throat> you will not believe that Amazon deforestation jumped sharply in April. Deforestation in the Brazilian Amazon surged during the month of April. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> the rise in deforestation came despite a high profile pledge from Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro to rein in deforestation in Earth's largest rainforest. Mm -hmm. According to preliminary data released by Brazil's own government, deforestation in the Brazilian Amazon amounted to 581 square kilometers, a 43% increase over April of last year. Uh, anyway, we're just going to be moving into high gear, of course. All right. All right, we have a new way to restore Earth, and that is to shift to nature positivity. Yes, we need to adopt a nature positive goal. This would require restoring the earth from 2020, placing the world on a nature positive path by 2030 to mount a full recovery by 2050. Yes. Oh boy. Anyway, I'm uh, moving on. Okay, we just talked about a Madagascar or France sized reforestation on the planet, and now we see a Belgium sized swath of forest faces the chop from Indonesian palm oil. Yes. There are still three and a half million hectares, otherwise known as 8.6 million acres of natural forest inside existing oil palm concessions that could potentially be cleared in as little as three years as demand for palm oil continues to grow. And that is exactly what is going to uh, happen. You will not believe that communities awaiting compensation, this is in Brazil, from the worst environmental disaster in Brazilian history say they are still being stymied this is six years later by a convoluted legal process that favors those responsible for the disaster. You will not believe that. Uh, all right, the Karapuna people 
are suing the Brazilian government for complicity in land grabs. Yeah, you would not believe that uh, the Brazilian government is complicit in land grabs. Anyway, guys, this goes on and on. Uh, let's end up with a group I have never mentioned on in my life, has never appeared in Manga Bay. So I think we're going to wrap up with the National Rifle Association. NRA video says conquering nature will never be the silver bullet. Huh. Last week, the New Yorker released footage of National Rifle Association CEO Wayne LaPere struggling to kill an elephant in Botswana. Um, this is Kate Daluski, Senior Policy Advisor for the Animal Welfare Institute to wrap up today's <clears throat> ecological collapse. Take it away. Uh, Kate Dilweski, quote, Killing imperiled species to save them will never be a silver bullet. We should not seek to conquer nature. Instead, we should preserve, respect, and appreciate the incredible species that share the earth with us. No species that faces extinction should be further victimized by someone looking to hang a head on a wall. Close quote. This article is a commentary. The views expressed are those of the author, not necessarily Manga Bay. Yes, you wouldn't believe the number of heads on walls hanging around all these various businesses around here. But anyway, I think I need to go hang my head in a hot shower because it was a hell of a day behind that rototiller. Anyway, guys, get out there and uh, conserve nature while you still can. Oh, bye guys. Yes, little dog. You weren't quite as wiggly as you've been. Did you have a hard day chasing froggies or what?